Welcome everyone to the RefWorks workshop. So I am already logged in and I have RefWorks open and the URL to get to that is refworks.proquest.com. It's as easy as that. So RefWorks is a citation management tool and it makes your research management and paper writing easy. With it, you can save your citations, you can save copies of PDFs, you can share your citations, folders and projects, as well as create bibliographies and create citations while you're writing in Word or Google Docs. RefWorks is all online. It's all cloud-based. There's nothing to download. Like I said, you go to the URL and you have access to this tool. So there's no need to save anything. When you make any kind of changes in RefWorks, it will save automatically. There's also no limit on the amount of citations, folders, projects that you put in here. Just remember that organization-wise, folders are in projects. So right now what you're looking at in my screen is one of my projects. And I'm going to click on this little drop-down box to show you that right now we are in my Library and Info Lit Research project. I have another project starting with coronavirus, but we're not one right now. So when I click and look at my folders, these are only the folders that I have within this project. And if I want to find different citations that I have, I will have to go to a whole different project in different folders to find them. Okay? So that's just something to be aware of as you keep using this tool more and keep adding more resources or adding more folders. Another thing that you can do with RefWorks is you can change the language. On the top right here, you can see it says language. If you click on the little drop-down box, you can change the language to any of these here. Now what this does is it changes the language of the tools in RefWorks. It will not translate your citations or any of your resources, like the PDFs that you add or hyperlinks. All it does is change the language of the RefWorks tool, so any of the buttons and, and links and things here and the labels will just change language. Okay. In our RefWorks library here, on the left-hand side is a toolbar. And basically this toolbar is used for um, organizing everything for the project. So right now we're looking at all of my references, and this is all of my references for this project regardless of what folder they are in. The other things I can look at are the best imported citations. This tab is important because anytime you bring in a citation, whether it's from the library catalog or maybe a library database, or maybe you pull it in from a website, usually it will go in here. So if you forget to designate a specific folder from your project to put that citation in, don't freak out that you've lost it. Just go to your last imported and see if the citation ended up there. Maybe you just forgot to tag it as a certain folder when you brought in that resource. Another thing you can do is with RefWorks, you can share. So with that button, I can share certain folders from this project. The cool thing is I can share it to people within my network, which means I can share to other TAMU users that have registered for a RefWorks account or I can send it to fellow researchers if they're outside of the network. So let me show you what that looks like. You click share a folder, you select the folder you want to share, and you can limit this. So I can lock it so that only invited people can have access to my folder. Um, and I don't know why you would click this, but there's also the option to open it within your organization. But that would mean anyone within TAMU could see your citation. So I would generally not recommend that option. You can also create a public URL. This would be helpful if you're working with researchers outside of this institution. So you would just copy this URL and send it to your researchers. If you ever want to turn this access off, all you have to do is click remove URL that becomes a dead link and you don't have to worry about people seeing your stuff again. But most commonly, I think what people use is the um, insert an email because what you can do is select the level of access 
that your colleague has with your material. So there's three different levels here. They can just read it. So this might be helpful for um, teammates if you just want to to compare what you're what you're finding resource wise. Um, if you want to collaborate and work a little bit deeper together, you can do annotate. So in reference, when you share and have this um, option turned on, any annotations or notes made into a PDF that's saved in RefWorks, anyone can see. So that can be really helpful if you're working on a project together. And the highest level of access is they can modify. And that also means delete. So be careful who you give that level of access to. And then when you input their names or you send out the URL, you can click done and then you shared that folder. And underneath my folders, obviously, you can add more folders. Um, you can click on specific folders to see what citations you have organized within those folders. Um, this is very useful for myself for keeping organized. And then we have the delete down here and then tags. Tags is something that you can just assign yourself if you want to organize your citations a little bit further. You can tag them with certain um, subject headings. So now I wanted to check in with you guys and to see if everyone is up to speed so far. So on the left hand side we have our tools to stay organized and to see our last imported citations for this project. If there's any questions, you can go ahead and put those in the chat box. And once again, we will try to take all of our questions at the end. OK, so what I like to tell people is that RefWorks, when you are adding your citations in, it can be a bit tedious. It's a bit time consuming because I know, like a lot of people, your citations might be scattered around. They might be. Um, saved within the library catalog if you have an account in there they might be saved you know on your computer hard drive um, within some documents and it might seem a bit tedious to come back in here to put these citations in here but I promise you when we get to creating the bibliography later on you will be so glad you did you will see how quick and easy it is to create a bibliography but before we do that I'm going to show you how you can add your citations to RefWorks and there's three main ways you can do that. And then these are all on the top up here. So you see the little plus sign where it says add. There are three ways you can add citations. The first way is to upload a document. And generally, it's a PDF that you have saved on your computer, for example. And I'm going to find one. And we'll use this PDF. So it creates a citation for the document that you're uploading. And you can see that it's it's processing over here. And because I have the full PDF um, saved on my computer, it's also going to put that a copy of that PDF in RefWorks. So when I clicked on the citation, I can see the metadata for that citation over here. And it has imported pretty much all of the information I would need to create a citation. We have the authors, we have our abstract, we have the date, volume, issue, ISN. It even pulled in the DOI, which we know we need for our APA 7th uh, edition citations. I have the journal, etc. So you have all your metadata here, and it pulled that just from me uploading a PDF. So that was kind of helpful and quick. The other ways you can upload are importing references. If you've used another citation management tool before, like Mendeley, or if you've used EndNote and you've saved the RIS file from your other work, you can import that this way. If you have, don't worry about it, you don't have to use that option. And the third way is to create a new reference and just create it from scratch, basically. So if you have a book maybe in front of you that you want to add, you can um, change the reference type. So you select what, what type of resource you're trying to create a citation for and enter in all the metadata that you want. And then you would click Save. So that's how you would add a citation scratch. Also, there's additional tools when you click on um, the, the citation in your folder there. 
you can find duplicates for certain references. Um, you can bulk edit things. So there's a lot of little nuanced things within RefWorks that once you get in and start playing around, you'll see how things work. It's kind of great. So we've looked at how to add our citations. Um, I also want to show you how to create a bibliography within RefWorks. So there's this button up here, Create Bibliography. And there's three different ways that you can do that. The first one, Create Bibliography, works with all the current citations you are viewing. Click on that button. Here's all of our citations. And you can see here we're using MLA 7th edition. You can change that to the citation style you want. Copy to clipboard, and then you can paste that into your word processor. Very easy. The second way is Quick Cite, and you start by choosing your citation style, and then you choose the citations that you want in the bibliography. So I'm going to just go with APA again, click Continue, and then you can go in and manually select which citations. You might not want to use all the ones in your folder. You might only want a few. And then you would click on bibliography. And so the three that I clicked on are now in the bibliography. OK? It's a bit more hands-on. Um, the final way is citation style editor. Again, I would not recommend this. Most people won't use this option. Basically, you're creating a custom citation style for your paper based on other citation styles. Um, don't worry about that option. Most people don't use that. So that is how you create your bibliography within RefWorks. Now I want to talk about some of the extra tools that RefWorks provides that makes paper writing so easy and also makes the research process really easy. So under your name on the top right, once you log in and have created your account, you want to click Tools. And this is where you find all the cool, fun tools that you can use with RefWorks. So you can see on my browser here, I have this Save to RefWorks button. And basically, this lets me grab and create a citation from web pages, anything that I'm looking at on the web. So you just click on Install, and then you drag this little bookmark button up to your browser. It definitely works in Chrome. I have to um, admit that I have not tested this in Firefox or Internet Explorer but you can um, try it in any of them because it says so right here that you can use it. It's super easy to use. Let me show you really quick how you can use that. So let's say I found the article online and um, I want to use it. I click Save to RefWorks. And it's asking me to pick the type of reference that it is. I can verify that it is a journal article. Um, it has a volume issue. There's the um, journal. And you might want to check and add the other metadata because this is the metadata that will create your citation. So you want to make sure that everything that they pull is correct because you don't want to get points off for a bad citation. And then what it's asking is the folder or the project in the folder that I want to put this in. So I'm going to put it in that project in that folder. And then what it's, it's going to do is it's going to open up a new RefWorks tab. Or not. You can just close that as well. I forgot. Okay. So that is how you use the Save to RefWorks bookmark button. Very easy. Like I said, you can save any kind of website. It doesn't have to just be books and articles, anything that you want to create a citation for. You can do that with that button. Really easy to use. So the other tools that RefWorks has are ones that you can put in your word processor. So Microsoft Word has Write and Cite. If you want to use this and you are using a TamiU computer or a laptop, you will need OIT's help to download and install Write and Cite. If you're using your own computer, no problem, you can download and install this. So I have here a sample paper, and I have already installed Write and Cite. 
and within Microsoft Word, it looks like RefWorks. So you're downloading the, prog the program called Write Insight, but the tab that you want to look for when you are in Microsoft Word is RefWorks. And here's the RefWorks tab. So even though you're installing Write Insight, it shows up as RefWorks. Okay, so how you use this is choose where you want your in-text citation to go. So I'm going to put my cursor right here at the end of the word population. And then I'm going to click Search Citation. And it has a few citations here for, um, I think these are my recently imported. But I'm just going to click Insert New. Because then what that does is it shows me all my folders that I can choose from. And then I can select whatever resource that I want to want to cite. So you don't have to use the ones that they just pop up there. And you can also customize if you want to hide the year or hide the author, uh, whatever your in-text citation style tells you. You can even make a footnote out of it. You can change that there. Okay, so there is my citation. I'm going to put a space bar because that's how that's supposed to be. But notice that it didn't start our bibliography. Now to do that, you have to click on Bibliography Options, Insert Bibliography. So now, based on the references that I have in my paper, I have two references here. It created a bibliography with two citations. So all the work that we did in RefWorks of importing our, our citations really worked out and see how easy it was to import our citations. However, it didn't format this. There we go. Now the letter. So now we have our in-text citations and we have our bibliography. You can change the format style and it will automatically change your in-text citations as well as your bibliography, your work cited. So that's how easy it is to use RefWorks inside your um, documents in Microsoft Word. Now the other one is for Google Docs. For Google Docs there's an add-on that you have to get for Chrome. It's very easy to use. Here is my sample paper in Google Docs and I'm going to put my cursor in here. Under add-ons that is where you can find RefWorks. So if I'm ready to add a citation I click manage citations. And here are all my citations from the project that I've been working on that I have open in that other tab. So I'm just going to click Cite This. And you can see it formatted and has quickly input my citation. Now what this one does, it automatically starts your bibliography for you. Okay? So you don't have to tell it separately to start your bibliography. So... And if you want that to go away, if you want to keep writing, you can just close that tab. You can write some more. Or maybe if you want to add another citation, you can click Add-ons, RefWorks, Manage Citations, and you can put in another citation. Now, notice that this is the end of um, sentence style citation, and it's not the... Um, the other style of in-text citation. So if you wanted to do that, you might have to customize that yourself. But And here, if you click on the little cog, if you want to change the citation style, you click on that. And right now we're using MLA. And then you can just, in this search box, type the other format you want to use. There's APA, so we'll just select that. We'll click Update, and it will change everything to APA. There we go. So that's how you use the RefWorks in Google. Okay. The other thing that I want to show you that's really important is that these citations aren't always perfect. And it's pulling in information from the web. So we have to remember that it might not pull in 
all the pieces that we need. So right now, this is the normal view of all of my citations. Watch what happens when I click on Citation View. Look at this resource here. Look at all these exclamation points. It's telling me that all the information I have for this resource might not be correct. I might have pulled this in from a database or from a website from somewhere that didn't have all the right information. So if I create a citation for this, it might not be correct because it's missing some pieces. And it wants me to double check these things. And again, I'll show you how to find that. It's under, normally it's under normal view. So if you just cl click on that and then click citation view, you can double, double check to make sure that your citations have all the right metadata in them. Like this one is missing, um, this is a, a film, and it's saying that it needs the producer. Also does not have a DOI, just a retrieval address, okay? So that might help you when you're formatting your citations and you're wondering um, what metadata might be meant or if you've collected enough metadata. I also wanted to show you really quick how and where you can create your account if you haven't done that already. So I'm going to log out. And to create your account, is really, you go to refworks.proquest.com. You can create your account from off campus. You can create it from anywhere. Scroll down and you click on Create Account, and then you type in your TAMU email address. And what it does is it verifies that you are with um, this institution. You click Check. I've already created an account, so it'll just tell me I have an account. But it will set you up to go through the steps to create your account. It's also going to send you an email, and you have to verify your new account before you can log in. Okay? So, now you know where to go to create your account and how to use this tool. We hope this workshop has helped you to do your research more efficiently.